My name is Jane Fitzgerald. I work for American Bird Conservancy and I am the coordinator of the Central Hardwoods Joint Venture. I get thrilled when I see prairie warblers and blue wing warblers because you don't see them just anywhere. Yellow and blackish wings, little red streaks on the nape, a neat little facial pattern. They kind of go zeet, 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 zeet. <laughs> it's just a neat little bird and like I said when you see it you're probably standing in a pretty neat piece of habitat in a neat part of the world. So Glade is a shallow bedrock community and there's rocky outcrops on the ground and there's grasses and wildflowers that come up in the shallow soils between the rocks and scattered, sometimes stunted and gnarled trees, but the canopies are open grown and usually the glades are embedded in what we call dry woodlands. There's another bird that often is in these same habitats called the blue-winged warbler. And the blue-winged warbler is a beautiful little bird. It's very, very bright yellow with blue wings and white wing bars and a little black stripe through its eye. And it says, biz, 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 biz. <laughs> so they're busy birds. <laughs> So it's really gratifying to see how much work our land managing agencies are doing to restore glade and woodland and pine woodland complexes. And there's a lot of people that are interested in those habitats, not for prairie warblers, but for the native grasses and all the various wildflowers. And um, it's a good conservation community to be a part of.